Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 20 of Darwell20's Up to Be Revelation series, where uh, today uh, I want to do a few things, uh, and I'm not entirely sure all what. Um, I want to get the focal manipulator going from Thawncraft, but I would also love to get an angel ring if I could, because I am just tired of having to pillar up in my basement to do builds. Uh, and an angel ring would just be super nice. So I think we might hold off on the Thawncrafty stuff. Whoop. Goodbye, Thorncrafty things. Um, and you know what? I'm going to put my gauntlet in here. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to put you in there. Cool beans. Nice. All right. Um, so I've got a couple of lassos ready to go. I want to do a few things. A, I'd like to get a ranged weapon. I like bows. Bows are cool. Here's the thing, though. I, I was looking at um, the many different bows available. Like, obviously, there's a ton of them, right? Like, Flux Infused from Redstone Arsenal. But I've been kind of sticking with, like, a Ender.io kind of armor and weapon theme. So why not go with Ender.io's bows? However, there's two. And I haven't quite figured out the difference. There's the Dark Bow, which needs a Skeletal Contractor, a couple sticks. Nutritious sticks, apparently, which need nutrient distillation. Okay, that's cool. Um, or... There's the Ender Bow, which is pretty much the same recipe, Skeletal Contractor, but needs Infinity Rods, which are just regular sticks, grains of Infinity, and some Dark Steel Nuggets. So I feel like I'm going to do the Ender Bow because I don't know the difference. Um, and that's that, basically. Um, I just don't know, like, what the difference is. So a Skeletal Contractor is going to be a Skull, two Solarium, two Rotten Flesh, and a Silicon. That shouldn't be too bad. Silicon. Uh, Soul Sand. A couple Gold. Uh, and a Skull. Oh, good, we have one of those. Hooray! So let's get the Alloy Smeltery. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's get a Capacitor. Oh good, I have a double layer extra laying around. Remember I was making one and then I was lazy and then things and stuff happened and you know. You know how it goes. Ding. Just a little dinging. Slice and splice. Do your thing. That's cool. I like it. And we have a skeletal contractor. Nice. All right. So I'm going to make the Ender Bow just because I don't know what the difference is. And the Ender Bow looked like it was higher tier. The only main difference I saw uh, in the uh, Ender IO bows was uh, Dark Bow in JEI goes up to Empowered 4. Uh, and Ender Bow goes up to Empowered 5. And I feel like most of the Ender tier stuff is better than the other things because uh it's it's dark plus dimensional blend uh and dimensional blend is pulverized obsidian with crushed endstone so i feel like you know a majority of these things are probably a little bit better um than their you know mark one counterparts even the ender is called mark two which is cool and we might be upgrading which leads to the question of when i upgrade these can i like remove the uh oh yeah i totally can look at that Sweet. That's cool. So I can totally remove my upgrades from my previous tier armor and in install them in the next tier armor and weapons. Well, ain't that fancy. So I've got a bow. Ender bow. Sweet. Um, now, I presume that you get all the, the standard upgrades that you would normally need to get. Um, so if I, if I popped you in here. Okay, cool. So basically you get the pocket anvil stuff and then the empowered one through four. Okie dokie, Smokey. Not a problem. Uh, so what we're going to want is actually, no, I can make a vibrant crystal just fine. Uh, and then you go into the upgrade dude to make empowered. Now, uh, ender IO, let's get, let's get up to that much. Maybe we'll get a fourth. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so give me a capacitor. Can I make an Octodick real quick? No, we're definitely short on Ender Pearls. Need to get more Ender Pearls. Always need to get more Ender Pearls, but that's okay. Oh, good, you're almost done. Sweet. Now the other question is, do I have enough experience for this? That's the real. That's the real question, for which I have no answers. So you are crafting my Dark Steel upgrade. There you are. 
So you, you, and then you. Because I'm going in the nether. That's the thing we are going to have to do pretty soon. So that's 4, 8, and 12, right? Come on, experience. Hold out on me. We are doing okay. Just okay. There you go. Now we're cooking. Look at that. Look at that. Now, can I get infinity on this guy? I would love it if I didn't have to carry arrows around. It just seems like a lot of work, right? Eye of Ender in the Arcade and Source later, or Grains of Infinity times 4 and 15 Lapis. However, you also will need 17 levels? Nope. We have four left. We have a comically low amount of arrow. That's funny, dude. All right, so, uh, but luckily we have some arrows from Killing Skeletons. So I think, oh, that looks cool. Look at that. It has like a little zoom in going on. I love it. All right, so here's what we need to do. I need to make, if I want to get things going, first off, I'm just going to like get the things for the for the ring, and then we're going to get Ender IO power. It's kind of backwards from the way I would normally do it, but, you know, changing it up a little bit. Uh, so to get this going, we need a golden lasso with a chicken in it, which seems like a good time. So let's go find a chicken. And now you know why I wanted to have like all this speed boost stuff, right? Like look how look how fast I'm running. I'm loving it. Look how fast I run. With the uphill step assist and the jump boosts and everything. It's great. Hello, chicken. I need to borrow you for a minute. Thanks, laser. You're doing great. Really? Excuse me, sir, I need to borrow a feather. Look, if you're not gonna give me a feather, otherwise. Okay, so that would be U plus U equals A, this guy. Nice, all right. Now, Ring of the Flying Squid uh, just needs a squid and an Ender Pearl, unfortunately. So it looks like we've totally got um, some work cut out for us. Absolutely, absolutely. So first off, squid, which hopefully I can find. Hello, sir. I need to borrow you for a minute. Thanks. Um, and you know what? Now might not be a bad time because I'm waiting. Let's go to the let's go to the Nether. And I would. Uh, what do we got by way of beheading? Just just these guys, right? I'm going to hope that my looting three helps out with this a little bit and get myself what I need to get. Uh, we need a drop of evil uh, from Kedosa. Ah, it's so nice. Now, did I bookmark where my... Well, it's right near my death, so that's a thing. Hello. So I need to find uh, wither skeletons. Wither skeletons, not blazes. Hey, gentlemen. Well, nothing quite good yet. Uh, but what we need is, I need to turn this guy into a Cursed Lasso, and we have to get a Ghast um, trapped in that Lasso. And remember, the Cursed Lassos, you can't capture a full health mob. You have to capture, like, a mostly damaged, hardly alive mob. Good time as I need to try out my bow. It's hard to shoot when you're on fire, though. Ooh, take aim. Not bad. Now, I did hit him with my sword one, so I don't think that counts as a one-shot. But that guy I did not hit with my sword. Not bad. The Enderbow charges really quickly, too. Like, that's something I like. There is a limit to how many entities can be alive at the moment, so, you know. Killing a regular skeleton will get me a Wither Skeleton. Wither Skeletons, where are you?
Of course, the only downside to the bow is I don't get uh, looting applied to it, but eh, you know. I'm not here for blaze rods. It's kind of a nice bow, though. Like, it recharges really quickly. Like, the drawback is really fast. So you can shoot pretty quickly with it, which I like. I like fast shooting bows. Don't worry, we'll get a draconic one eventually, but, you know, all in good time, my friends. Hey, buddy. Thank you for leather. Man, we are having no luck with the weather skeletons today, are we? All right, I guess what I'll do is come back in a minute once I find some. Found some! Haha! <laughs> I got a skull. That's not what I was after, but I got one. Hey, look, a drop of evil. Hooray! That'll work for a mob farm later, but first things first is I need this so I can get an angel ring, right? So I've got my squid ready. What do I need besides the... I also need a bat. Those are also hard to find sometimes. But now that I've got this, now we need to find a ghast. Man, I'm lost. I don't even know how I got in here. I teleported through a wall. So now I just need to find a ghast, hurt him enough, such that I can capture him in the lasso. So where's the where's my exit marker? Totally lost. I think it's there it is. Exit. Sweet. I should also check on my pump on here. So it would be lovely if I could find a guest. Isn't it always true? Like, correct me if I'm wrong, right? But isn't it always true that, like, when you first come to the nether and you've got, like, no armor and you're like, I just need to, I just need a few things. I need to survive. There's ghasts everywhere. And they're shooting you and they're blowing up your portal. And then you come back later and you're, like, fully kitted out in dark armor and you've got a bow and you've got a sword and you're like, I need to find a ghast so I can get, there's not a ghast anywhere in sight. We've been in this nether for 10 minutes now, and I ain't seen a single ghast. Like, what is up with that? Hey, look, my pump's doing a good job down there. Good job, pump. You're doing well. Glad to see that. Not a single ghast to be found. All right, well, let's do this. Let's teleport home. Put away all my junk. That'll also reset some of the hostile mobs in the nether because, you know, unloading chunks and all that. And then what I'll do is hopefully it's nighttime. Oh, it is, but it's raining. Rip. I wanted to go get Endermen so that I could get some Ender Pearls. Uh, alas, it is nighttime, which is not cool at all. All right, so let's put away some. Eh, I need my arrows. That's right. Uh, let's put away some stuff. And you know what? I'm just gonna trash this dude. I'm not even gonna waste my 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 inventory. How's this thing doing? Not bad. Not bad. We're going to need a few more of those in a, in a bit. Can I get... How many more do I need to fill that thing? Three? Yeah. Can I get three 4Ks? Low on Certus, as usual. All right, I guess back to the... Back to the nether until we uh, get another night time. I really wanted Ender Pearls. I can't believe it was raining. Just my luck. Just my luck. All right, guests. Where be thee? Guess we'll come back when I find one. It's almost funny how long I've been in the Nether here and yet to find a ghast. I like it, it's been at least fifteen minutes, and I, I don't know what's going on. There's no ghast anywhere. Ain't it? Ain't it the way it always goes, right? Uh. There we go. Hey, that's even perfect. Now, now I'm purposely hitting him with my staff of traveling. Got him. Got him. Because he has to be low on health in order for you to capture him. So I didn't want to hit him with a sword. My sword and arrows would probably one-shot him. So hitting him with the staff of traveling was definitely the way to go. All right. Whew. Finally. Finally got our ghast. That is cool. Oh, also, uh, I found an Enderman while I was out there, so, haha, <laughs> yay for that. Uh, are there ink sacks in here? No, I guess not. 
Uh, can I use Cold Dust for Black Dye? Organic Black Dye from Ender IO. That's right. Uh, that's an alloy smeltery of six coal dust and a charcoal. I could probably do that. And then slime balls, right? Times two. Sagmill, do the thing. Quickly. I've got places to be. I mean, I figured that was just as quick as running out into the world. Hooray, I did the thing. Okay, now we have to find a bat. And then we should be pretty good, right? Yeah, I think so. Da -da 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 -da. And then we have an angel ring. Sweet. Now I just need to find a bat. I'm going to look around. Underground. I don't think any spawn in my basement, typically. But I'll look in the, in the uh, caves and stuff underneath my base. This might be a little bit boring to watch. So, as usual, we'll be right back. All right, the hard part of this is I found a bat. The harder part of is catching said bat because they move around so erratically. Stupid bats. Come down here, you. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Sweet. All right, back home we go. All right, now we're cooking. So you and you equals angel ring. Woo, do we have it? There's only one problem. We can't use it because we don't have light yet. Oh no, we have no power. <laughs> now it's time for power. Uh, and for that, we typically start with solar. So let's make it daytime. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is get basic extra utilities power going, right? So this is usually not a too complicated of a process, right? So let's get our extra utility stuff going on. Like, uh, you're all done-ish. Boom, boom, boom. Right, so what we want is a resonator. And we're going to want a few solar panels just to get us started. Uh, and then we're going to want water wheels, right? Because that's, like, these are just the best, right? Water mills are the best, to be fair. They just are, right? Because uh, it's 4 or, uh, four GP per side that you get for them. Um... So you can get like 16 GP pretty easily uh, per block, which no other block is capable of getting anywhere close to, right? Uh, like fire is four, lava is four, and wind is like, you know, a couple, but you ain't getting four. Or you ain't getting 16 either. So water is definitely the best. Up until you get to 64 GP, at which point you start having a loss on it and you'll have to do other things. But usually once you get to that point, you can just get like a real quick dragon egg mill and then you're good. 500 GP for like, you know, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, so with that said, let's get these guys going. So you, sir, need some polished stone, which, uh, I can probably, hey, I'm shift clicking you, silly thing. Let's just do this, right? I'm going to do you, boom, and then you, boom. Okay. Uh, and let's do like one... Let's do like nine of these guys. Hey, that's also not supposed to be there. And you're gonna go up on my roof, solar panels. Have I uh, mentioned to you guys yet how much I love my new boots and leggings? Running around so fast, jumping like crazy. I'm gonna have flight in a minute. Oof! it's so good. It's so good. All right, so now I should be able to make a resonator, no problem, right? Boom, that's easy peasy. And the best part about a resonator is I have time in a bottle. Because a big thing with a resonator is it takes time to do stuff. It's so good. So now we want our polished stone, right? We're gonna pop that in there. Now that uses eight GP per crafting operation. We are using, uh, you know, a lot of GP, or, or, or we're producing nine, right? Like this thing, obviously we're not doing much yet. Like if I tried to fly with it, it would just not be good. It's just not gonna work. But that totally works. Just because of the way the GP calculation is, like it's, 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 not, it's not like a per tick kind of thing. So we can run it as fast as we want and it won't generate, or it won't cost any more GP. Loving it. 
Now let's get some water mills ready. Uh, so you, sir, are going to need some resonating power crystals. Those usually require ender pearls. We've, 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 we have a few because you get them from, um, from uh, mining redstone. So we have a few laying around, but we're probably going to need a few more. So let's just get like one ender pearl. So to get that, we're going to need a glass cutter. Which, pro tip, the glass cutter can also be used to break glass blocks without losing them. So if you're looking for that, you know. And then we can do this, and I'll put that in there, and do that, and now we're cool. Neat. I like it. So with the water mill, uh, let's get... So we can get four per side. We want to get like 32. Should we get like 10 of them? No, 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 no. It's 16 per water mill, right? Uh, and how long, how, how far do they get? Of the 64 so realistically like four of them is gonna cap me out right so let's get like five just to be cool just to be cool and contrary okay and then the water mill and then you and then you and then you and there's five nice now where am I gonna put you is really the question uh, we're gonna want water hey good we have some and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I mean, I'll put it in my sub basement somewhere. How does that look? I'm just gonna put it like right here. Is that cool? I like that. All right, so with that, um, basically what we wanna do is have flowing water uh, of size one pretty much uh, on all sides of these things, right? So to make this work out, uh, what I'm probably gonna wanna do is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I did this, so see how we're generating 16 power now? Um, and the reason we're generating 16 power is we get four per side when there is a flowing water block. Cool. So now if we want to do this, that's going to be generating eight. And that's also going to be generating eight. Uh, and then what we can do is something like this. So we can do that. And now you're 16. Cool. And now we're already producing like a pretty good amount of power here. Uh, now you're the source, right? So realistically, if we want to expand this out some more, you're a source block, right? Thank you. So let's just keep these all at 16. So that's eight, right? Eh, I don't know if I want that there though, to be fair. To be fair, I don't know if I want that there. Let's see, cause I wanna kinda keep it within this bound, right? So maybe here would be a good spot for one. That should be 16, right? Yeah, I like that. Now that's a flowing, this would be a good spot for one as well. All I would need to do would be to get you. Yeah, we want probably to break this guy. Okay, 16, eight. And then we do this, right? And that should be cool. So we do have a little bit of a loss, 7% efficiency loss, but that's, we expected that because we knew we were gonna be more than, you know, our number there. So that works for me. Uh, so let's just make sure there's some lighting in here so that things don't get too dark. And then, uh, do I wanna glass it up? I kinda like having glass 
like, you know, viewing into my area like that. Uh, but maybe we should... Let's get our exchanger out for a sec. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fine. And then let's do a quick old build to me. That looks pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't look great, if I'm being honest, but, yeah. It serves the purpose. Maybe I'll make the walls look a little good for a sec. Where'd my exchanger go? I think I want to have them have that crumbly block look, which I kind of liked. Alright, so you... Oh, I need more of that. Chisel... And stone. Really? That's all the stone I've got? Well, that's a bummer. Where's that crumbly look? Cracked stone bricks, actually. Cracked stone bricks, cracked stone bricks. Okay, cool. And then, cool, be right back. All right, there we go, cracked stone bricks and that. Looks good to me. Let's do this guy filled in. Nah, that's not bad at all. Okay, cool. So now, we should have flight, if I'm not mistaken. Ho oh, ho ho ho, that's what's up. Whee! Now we're cooking. How great is that? Angel ring flight for the win. And I mean, like, there's other benefits that we'll get um, from from doing this. One other thing I would love to have from, N from, from extra utilities would be the battery wireless doohickey. Um, so these guys are easy to make. And these guys are generally easy to make. So we can hook this thing up, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, what do I want to put you? It doesn't super matter. Maybe I'll put you back here, just because you're an easy one, right? I could plop you right into here somewhere. Super doesn't matter. That seems like a good enough spot as any, right? Um, and each one of these guys can do some wireless transmitting. So, like, you know how over here I had this whole setup? We can get rid of this entire thing. And refund all of this. Including my not terribly expensive, but also not terribly cheap, flux point. And we can use this guy right here-ish. I'll probably want him here. And do you go to all four? Serving four tiles. Perfect. So the reason I'm doing that is because I'm assuming eventually I'm gonna have like insert and extract from the empower. So we're gonna need some 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 conduiting there, right? So that's like a really nice way to get power into things. It doesn't transfer a lot, like it's what, 80? Yeah, max RF 80 RF a tick. So like if it doesn't need a ton of power, it's cool. I might wind up at some point. I don't know. I forget how much RF these guys use in like a normal pack, right? Like I played in plenty of hardcore packs where like those are used with like really expensive recipes, and now I kind of forget. Like, is, how expensive does that thing normally get? And do we need more than eighty RF a tick standard in like a non-hardcore pack? I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. So I'm gonna call that. Uh, some pretty good progress for an episode, right? Uh, I would love some more experience, so that's something. Um, uh, we've got some really good stuff going on right now, though. Can You can't shoot without an arrow, right? Yeah, totally need arrows for you. I keep putting them away because I'm like, oh, arrows, that's junk that I don't need. Just like that's my habit, right? Like, arrows equals junk I don't need. That's not true at the moment. <laughs> I do want them. And I'm pretty sure this is a bauble, right? Can I bobble this up? Can I make, can I make it a bauble? 
Oh, it might be a ring, so maybe it has to go in the ring slot. Yeah, there you go. Cool. That works. Sweet. Bobble ring. Nice. So this thing will go here. You can go away. And I'm going to call that a wrapping up point for an episode. So for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time. Obviously, lots of cool stuff to play with. So I'm super excited that we have Angel Ring Flight, though, uh, among other things. Uh, and and RF power means easy wireless RF transmitters for simple machines that don't need a huge amount of power, right? So like flux networks for like your big network transfers. But like this guy, theoretically, I mean, I'll leave it as is because it's already set up, but like they could have easily been powered by wireless dudes, right? Oh, and I almost forgot because it's episode 20, you guys get a world download, don't you? So why don't I uh, put all my stuff away, including my new angel ring, whoosh, and all this stuff. All right, is that everything? Looks like everything to me. All right, now wrap it up, boys. So Devil20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.